you were having this dream, you have written it down. And sometimes you've been praying a lot with this dream, but you know, even though you're you know that you're faithful and you know that you're doing the things that you want to do, but you're wondering why it's still not happening. Keep on waiting, wala ka pa girlfriend. Keep on waiting, pero wala ka pa rin And you're wondering, Lord, what's wrong with me? And sometimes you'll have your enemies in the office. When you see your boss, you're demotivated, you're demoralized. And sometimes, you know, you just you just keep on asking why. But tonight, the Lord wants to remind you that He is there for you, that His help is coming. And I want you to, to take note of the lyrics of God.
better. It will will get better and better and better and better. Amen? Amen. I want to congratulate the... How many of you are from Ateneo? You're an Arneo. Congratulations. Um, How many of you are from Lasal? Why are you so... You're not proud of your school? You know, I pray that the Lord will just bring peace to <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna, you know what, tonight we're gonna end our series on Money Pacquiao and at the same time, we'll segue into the first talk of our new series. Um, we're gonna talk about work. How many of you have work? How many of you have work? Yeah. You know, when we talk about work, some people, some people um, hate work. Some people fear work. It's for them. It's a four-letter for. It's a four-letter word that brings. But they don't like work. They don't like work. And and when you don't like something, something will happen to you. You 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 just ah, you don't know. You don't know what's happening. But you you're. I'm almost sure that it's gonna harm you. It's gonna be bad for you. My son Ziki, five years old. Five years old. Um, uh, he he acts out. Okay, he's five. You know, better when he was two, he was better. I mean, he he would obey daddy and mommy. But now he's five. He's learning to reason out. Um, yesterday, yesterday, my wife called me. Ziki na naman. He tried to hurt me. You know, he's he's getting into this habit of trying to hurt his mom, and and. And I asked my wife, what did he do? He got a pen without an apple. Okay? He got a pen and he, and he motioned like this. And, and my wife told me, Ziki, are you going to try to hurt me? And uh, I, I, I talked to him on speakerphone and I said, Ziki, wait for daddy, I'm coming home. And, uh, and uh, he waited for me when I got home. I sat him on my lap. I said, Ziki, what's wrong? What did you do? Play. What did you do today? Um, eight. But there's something that I want you to tell me. What did you do today that's different? Mommy told me something. Mm-hmm. And he has his face set. So he's smiling. Mm-hmm. And mommy told me something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> he said, and I said, what? What did you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you tried to hurt mommy. And I said, Ziki, you know what? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? You, you, were, you were doing your assignment and why did you do that? Hmm? Pointing to his mom. What? What? Um, <laughs> and, I, and I said, you, you talk to me, okay? Ziki, every time you do this, every time you're doing assignments, you, you always go through this Every time, Ziki, what makes you do this? He thought for a while and he said, hmm, stress. <laughs> he doesn't like doing assignments or writing and it gives him stress. When you don't like work, it will give you stress. You will wake up and say, oh, the other day, I was driving and he said, Dad, that song, that's not a good song for God. Why? Because you're saying, Nanaman. It's like saying, it's Christmas again. And that's, that's, our, that's how we feel when it comes to work. How many of you ever said, Oh, balik na naman sa trabaho. Ay, Monday na naman. Especially after Christmas, Ay, back to work. Ay, back to reality. If you don't like work, it will not like you. But some people don't like work, but some people love work. Some people love work. They, they wake up in the morning and, and think about how they're going to help people. You, you give, me, give me a set of... Uh, imagine this, a set of teachers, uh, uh, two groups of teachers teaching the same age group, teaching in the same school, teaching the same subject. If you ask one group, what are you doing? And, uh, and they, they'll tell you, I'm teaching chemistry. 
But the other, the other group, you ask, those who love their work, what are you doing? I'm helping sh shape and form the children because they like, but how many of you don't like your bosses? <coughs> Honestly. Don't raise your hand if they're here. <laughs> I want to say hi to those who are watching on Facebook Live. <laughs> Do you know what? You know what? If you don't like your boss, you can learn to like them. Here's what scripture says. Here's what scripture says. That we need to be sanctified. Our work is sacred. Can you say sacred? Sacred. Number one, work. This is what work does. And this is how we should um, respond. And this is how we should act when it comes to work. Number one, we should... Number one... Alibutongko. <laughs> Three things, three things, okay? We should sanctify work. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you should sanctify work. You should make it holy because it's your offering to God. Whether you're studying, whether you're working, it's your offering to God. Whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it for the glory of God. We should sanctify work. Number two, we should let work sanctify us. We should let, let work sanctify us because God put us there for a reason and for a purpose. If you're in your company right now, God put you there for a purpose. Not for the 13th month pay. Not for the 14th month pay. For some companies, not for the 18th month pay. God put you there. <laughs> God put you there for a purpose. So, so we should sanctify work. You should let work sanctify us. And number three, we should sanctify others through our work. Do your best. Do your best. And you see, that's that's just the introduction. Our new series is called Shift to Success. Making 2017 your best year yet. So from Mani Pacquiao, we now we, we shift and we segue into this new series. And for the next couple of weeks until our break, Christmas break, we're gonna we're gonna talk about how to shift to your success. You like that? Yes. If you're ready, I want you to declare God's abundance over our lives together. There's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Together. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's words. talk about success, what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks is that we're going to study, we're going to, we're going to mine the, the treasures in this book. We're going to study success tips. You like success tips? Yes. From the book of Proverbs. We will, we will look at success principles from the book of Proverbs and I'm, I'm going to start by, uh, I'm really fascinated at how this 3,000 year old book or 3,000 year old manuscript, 3,000 year old um, little, what do you call it, a bunch of words can have an effect in our lives and uh, it, it worked before, it's working today and it will continue to work because the word of God is forever. Amen? So uh, good, to, good to have the Bible with you all the time. Again, again, how many of you have your Bibles in your phones. If you don't have it yet, I want you to download it, okay? Download it on your phones. I'm sure if you go to App Store or you go to the, the Google Play, um, there are Bibles there. If, if you're Catholic, you can get the Catholic version, okay? And uh, if you don't have a Bible in your phone, you can buy your own Bible this Christmas. Okay, nag 13th month pay ka. Okay, mura lang yung Bible na ganito. Okay? It won't even cost you, siguro, hindi naman yung 3 month pay. Iba-iba. During my time, we only had that big Bible. 
So when I brought it to school, alam na alam na lahat ng tao na ba yun. But now, you have the leather bound, you have the gold edge, and may manipis, may napapal, may mukhang, may mukhang diary, iba iba eh. Uh, just, just get the Bible, alright? Let's, let's honor the word. that Proverbs chapter 24 verse 30 I walked past a field that belonged to a lazy man it was a vineyard that belonged to someone who understood nothing weeds were growing everywhere wild vines covered the ground and the wall around the vineyard was broken and falling down I looked at this and thought about it this is what I learned a little sleep, a little rest, folding your arms and taking a nap. These things will make you poor very quickly. I, I, I want to read that part again. I looked at this and thought about it. This is what I learned. A little sleep. How many of you have ever said that? A little sleep. <laughs> 30 minutes to time the trabaho. Folding your arms and taking a nap. Some of us have learned the, the art of taking a nap during work. You know, I, I've learned that. I can take a nap while having a meeting. I can take a nap. I can take a nap. George, George Gabriel, can take a nap during manco meetings. Don't tell him. I, I like I like talking talking behind this back. <laughs> But it will make you poor very quickly. So, remember, the next time you say, Konting pahinga, konting na, you might be, might grow poor very quickly. Alright, I'm going to expound this, and we're going to learn more about this. We're going to dwell in the Word of God. Let's honor the Word of God one more time. Thy Word is the Lamb unto my Slap three people and tell them God will bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, uh, Gina. I said three people. You only slapped one. A little rest, a little sleep, a little nap. <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I. You know, for someone who's trying to lose weight or someone who's trying to control, you also say that. Especially this Christmas season. Christmas naman. Christmas naman. And before you know it, you have a problem. Work. Work. We need to understand that this work, that work is something that God gave us so that so that we will have something to, to eat. Scripture says, if you don't eat, you don't work. If you don't eat, you don't work. I don't know why um, people sometimes think that uh, that they're entitled to, to getting something even if they don't work. Um, in, in government offices, I don't know about how they are right now, but but I've seen some government offices, I'm not saying all, they, that they, they're all like that, but I've seen some government offices where when, when it strikes three, you know, after merienda, they're getting ready to, to go home already. And uh, they're expecting to be paid much, but they don't want to do, you, you, they, they don't want to work for what they're getting. And it's, it's unfair. So my message for you tonight is, Whatever you're doing, whatever you, even if you're a student, if, if, if you have your business, if you're employed, what you need to do is just have to keep on planting. Keep on 
planting. If you want to be successful in life, remember this. Keep on planting. Just plant and plant and plant. I think I shared this with you before. I was talking to some of my editors when we, we, we did AVPs. And they were wondering why, why I charge, I used to charge, <laughs> I used to charge very, very, very minimal. Yung konting konti lang talaga. Um, and, and I told them, di bale, tanim lang tayo ng tanim. Tanim lang tayo ng tanim. One day it will, it will, it will come back. And God will find a way to bless us. So, just keep on planting. Keep on planting. Can you tell the person next to you, keep on planting. Keep, keep on planting. I'm going to talk to you about two things, two success principles from the Bible, from the, the book of Proverbs, and it has something to do with execution and endurance. If you want to be successful in life, you have to, be, you have to learn how to execute and you have to learn how to endure. Not just survive. I believe that w when we talk about endurance, we're talking about winning the battles in your life and winning and passing the tests in your life with flying colors. When you endure. Surviving isn't, it's not enduring. You endure and, and you do it and you give your all and you know that you're 100% there. Execution and endurance. We'll go to the first principle. Execution. Can you say this after me? Intentions don't count. Intentions don't count. Have you ever met people who have lots of plans? This is my plan. Randy, relax ka lang. If this works, if this works, ay nako, I'll be able to solve all the problem, financial problems of the feast. Okay lang. This brilliant idea, talagang alam ko ito na yun eh. This, this is it. This is it. Only to talk to that person three months after. So what happened to your plan? Um, hindi na work eh. I, as much as I want to be, 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 be very brutally frank with that person, I just, you know, I, I, I just want to want to ask him, uh, hindi nag work ang, ang tanong, ginawa mo ba? Ginawa mo ba? Intentions don't count. Um, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23, it says, Work brings profit. But mere talk leads to poverty. Dito, uh, mere talk leads to poverty. Intentions don't count in anything. If you want to be successful, you, you have to work. You have to move. You have to, you have to make sure that you're not sleeping, napping, resting a bit. Okay? I'm, I'm going to give you one minute. Okay? If you have a writing instrument, I want you to write down, even on your phones, I want you to... Pull out your phones, please. I'm going to give you one minute. I want you to write down the names of the people you know, personally know, are very successful, or at least you've come to know through magazines or, 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 or books or news or the, the TV news. Name the people, name the people you know are very successful. Come on. Right there. Kunyari, sino ba yan? Successful in what they do. Um, when it comes to writing, writing books, books Sanchez. Um, when it comes to, to business, you have Edward Lee or Dean Pax or, or it can be personal. It, you, you, you may know them personally. When it comes to looking good, Randy. <laughs> 15 seconds. Write down the names of the people who are most successful in your book. Right? Okay. You're done. Can you take a look at those names and uh, tell me if, uh, if, if my hunch or if if what I'm thinking is wrong, okay? There's a big possibility, there's a big chance that all the names that you've written down are people who all have a bias for action. 
Yeah? Yeah? They have a bias for action. Brother Bo, when it comes to writing a book, do you know that when Brother Bo doesn't sleep, Brother Bo just does two things, three things. He sleeps, he preaches, and he writes. So when you when you when you see him in the downtime, you automatically see him with his laptop. A bias for action. If you want to be successful, you have to have a bias for action. You cannot be successful and not work. Success is about is all about execution. Because intentions don't count. Try going to a big company and partnering with them. Hey, I, try going to Henry C. Or, and then you have to go to, to the kids and then tell them, I have, I, have a, I have a plan and I have a product and I have a proposal. Uh, can we do business together? What about that plan? It's a beautiful plan. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And uh, to try, if they ask you for results, if they ask you for, for proof, if they ask you for, for, for numbers and you can't give them, you won't be able to get that partnership. Because success, is, success in business, successful businesses are not found on brilliant ideas, but, the, but in the ability to execute these brilliant ideas. These brilliant ideas. Ideas. I shared with you before that long before we have we have this show my house. Do you know do you know how rich the person who started that is already? You go you go anywhere and there's a show my house, diba? Right? Um, before before that I was talking to my brother already. I said, Wait, wait, no? Show my we already sourced the best show my it's better than what, what they're selling. It, and I told my brother, oh ma, gig, we saw natin to, we tayo ni Birgay na nga. But we didn't, we just talked about it. We just talked about it. A few months after, lumabas na sila, and we were late already. It's not based on the brilliant ideas that you have. It's based on your ability to execute these brilliant ideas. It has something to do with speed has something to do with with uh, with precision you don't you don't wait for success to happen you make it happen you make it happen i'm going to share with you i'm going to share with you a story about three agree how many of you have failed in your life <laughs> relationships business wrong move wrong uh, <laughs> career move wrong business decision right? You will fail. You will fail. Can, can you tell three people something? You, you will fail. With conviction, huh? With conviction. Oh, you will fail. I have, I have a tip for you. Three things about failure. About failure. I've failed so many times, and uh, the lessons that I've learned about failures are these three things. If you're going to fail, might as well fail in class, in style, right? Diba? Here, three things. Fail tiny, fail many, fail quickly. Fail tiny, fail many, fail quickly. Proverbs 24, it says, the righteous man may fall. The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up. But the wicked will stumble into trouble. The righteous person falls seven times a day, the Bible says. So when you talk about righteous, these are just people. These are, these are obedient and they're righteous, but they still fail. So, so if you're telling me that you're not failing every day, uh, I'm, I'm, I can tell you right now that you're lying. Okay? For all have fallen short of the glory of God. For all have sinned. All of us have sinned. But, but you, you need to know that you need to do these three things. Fail tiny, fail, um, fail many, and fail quickly. Fail tiny. 
What do I mean? I, I, we've been teaching you here at the feast to dream big, right? Dream big, but start small. The problem is sometimes we dream big and we want to start big. It's going to be our first business venture and you want to have a capitalization of 2 million pesos then a lucky new negotiation you want to go in. Because you're dreaming big. But, but the thing is to fail tiny because if you fail, you, you dream big, but you start small so that when you fail, it's manageable. Okay? You dream big, but you start small so that when you fail, it's manageable. You fail tiny. Okay? Instead of dreaming big and starting big, umpisa pa lang, baon ka na sa utang. Baon ka na sa utang. I know someone who's, who started business and, and soon enough, he was, he was like, into debt, about 40 million pesos debt. Because he started big. He wanted, he dreamt big, and he wanted to start big. And he failed. So it's not failing tiny, right? You get what I'm saying? Fail tiny, fail many. Because, because when you fail a lot of times, then you will learn. Listen to this. How, how many of you believe that in life, there's, uh, it, it's, it's a given that we will go through adversity? You believe that? Yes. You will go through adversity. But but the, the, the point is not to go through adversity. The point is to grow through adversity. And the only way you can grow through adversity is when you go through adversity. Making sense? Am I making sense? So so fail many. You, you, you go through these tests. And, and what's important also is that you learn from your failures. You learn from these many failures. So that one day, one day it will come naturally. You make good decisions. You make better decisions. You make, you make, uh, you, you have better judgment because of the lessons that you've learned. Because you're failing many, and then you fail quickly. <laughs> fail quickly. I, I, I'm not saying that you go into a business and you 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 plan to fail. Okay, you plan. I'm going to start a business and I, I'm planning how this business will fail. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> When, you, when I say fail quickly, be open. Do your best. Do, do your best to, 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 to start this business. You, you get mentors, etc. You study it. But be open. Be open. And uh, take it easy when it fails. Because that's the only way you learn. That's the only way you learn. Um, I, I, uh, when I started organizing events when I started directing learning events I, I I failed so many times and I'll share with you a couple of times that I failed um, my, my <laughs> when I was starting I, I was directing John Maxwell how many of you know John Maxwell he's a leadership guru and he came to the Philippines and and, and RD Roberto sort and like asked me Randy can you do it? can you direct and and I said yes I uh, I said, yes. Um, the Araneta Coliseum, full of people. Then John Maxwell started coming in. And with his voice, I'm John. Now your friend. So he, he goes there. And then suddenly when he starts speaking, boom. You sound system, boom, boom, boom. Oh. So he, he acted. And then he continued. Um, the 21 laws of leadership, boom. And... So I was wondering already, but I was there, and it kept on, kept on making that sound, and uh, John Maxwell, I didn't know what to do, okay? My first failure in, in, in directing learning events, then John Maxwell said, talk to me, sound guy. He was, <laughs> and everyone looked at me, because I was stand, standing in the tech booth, talk to me, sound guy, and I didn't know what to do. So I, I had someone run to him and tell him to give us a few minutes to fix it. The next day, PICC, he was telling the PICC crowd about the Araneta crowd. And he said, last night, I wanted to shoot the sound guy. And, <laughs> and I just learned from it. And, and I tried to make sure, okay, so interference on radio, next time we'll have a lot And, and uh, that, that was one of my biggest mistakes. Um, fast forward a couple of months uh, after, 
I did this event, I ran into Coliseum. <laughs> and uh, everything that, that, that could go wrong went wrong. Um, the, the, the president of the company said, Oh, pag sinabi ko yung presentation ko, baka mamaya hindi lumabas yan. Lalabas yan, sir. Trust me, sir. So sabi niya, can I have a presentation? Ayaw. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. So, ayaw. <laughs> and you know what? That, that event, it, I, I don't know, sobrang failure. Na, araneta nga. Yung parang gusto ko sabi po, ginawa akong bayaran. <laughs> Kaya lang kumawa naman ako, di ba? <laughs> Napangit na nga yung event, di ba ako mababayaran? <laughs> you know, I did go to... There's a dinner scheduled after. I didn't even go there. I didn't show my face to him until after when we were doing evaluation. Mistakes. But because of that, I, I knew. I, I tried to study the connection. Bakit hindi nang ganun? Ba't hindi nangyari? Ba't hindi ganun? But, but I, one, 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 one last point. Oh. I, I did this event in Newport. What's uh, that? Newport. What do you call that? Newport uh, Theater, Performing Arts, uh, and uh, I was talking to, I was talking to the the big boss of Mega World, okay? <laughs> and and I, I had experience yeah, so far, my abo na ako, so you know the thing san American, na American, so so um, okay, um, where's my pointer? Here, you can use this pointer. Um, are you sure this works? Of course, it works. Um, I, I even have a green pointer. <laughs> uh, yeah, this works. Okay. Um, so are you sure? I need this. Yeah, sure. Um, he, he's a big boss of Mega World. No, not even Mega World lang. Alliance Global, the, the mother company. And and he, this guy has the has the capacity to crush people if he wanted. Okay. Are you sure? And then the assistant said, Are you sure? Yeah. I didn't realize that. I did, I did, I didn't think about it, okay? So he was using an LED clicker, uh, pointer. Eh, yung background niya, LED. Hindi ko naman alam na pag tinuro mo pala yung LED sa LED, hindi lalabas. And so, so we're going, <laughs> ayaw. Yung tingin nila sa akin, parang, now I know. <laughs> now I know, I give them a long stick. <laughs> you want to use it in LED? But, but I, I learned these things because I failed. You have to face your fears. You have to go through your fears. Um, going back to the, to the story. So um, Mr. F uh, Farmer Freddy went to uh, Farmer Focus. How, how come you get to plant so many things? And, and so many plants and you harvest and then you, you make a lot of money. And this is what Farmer Focus told Farmer Freddy. You, you, you can't do it. Uh, Farmer Freddy said, how do you get over your fears? Farmer Focus said, I don't. I do it afraid. I do it afraid. So if you're afraid of starting something, if it's taking you three years to discern something, I'm telling you now, do it afraid. And I know I'm talking to someone here. I won't tell you her name. Do it afraid. You don't need three months. I mean, to, to, to discern something, just do it. Um, also, if you want to be successful, you have to learn how to work hard and smart. Some say, don't work hard, work smart. Have you heard this before? Um, uh, engineering students of uh, Sophia University in Japan had this case. Uh, there was this complaint about a soap factory, uh, a soap factory complaint about people getting to to buy boxes of soap without soap inside and so because this was very very serious for them they talked to the engineers they gathered all the engineers and they said look we don't want this to happen people buying the soap and only to find out that there's no soap inside so we have to do something about it and the engineers got to work they they worked on they worked on a special x-ray machine that will that will see go through the, the, the box and to find out and there's a lot of uh, and they, they spent a lot of money and uh, the the guy who was giving directions decided to leak the problem to the people 
to the to the rank and file and there was this guy who in the assembly line you know what he did he, he got a, a very big industrial fan he turned it on while the the, the soap boxes were going uh, to the boxes and if there was no bo soap inside the box would fly away <laughs> the, these guys knew how to work smart the engineers they worked hard but the rank and file people the assembly line people worked smart get what i'm saying so you work hard and smart okay so and then then you'll be able to execute okay okay yes success number one execution success number two endurance endurance how do you endure execution is about doing it right Ex uh, endurance is about keeping it right execution uh, endurance is about staying there Stay. it's 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 the staying power you're staying alive <laughs> endurance proverbs 13 11 says wealth from get rich quick schemes quickly disappear wealth from hard work grows over time wealth from hard work grows over time endurance what do you do when you don't know what to do someone asked me bro ano ginagawa mo pag wala kang ginagawa <laughs> man no hindi ko pa alam well what do you do when things don't happen the way you planned it how do you how do you endure how do you how do you survive um my, my mom when after my dad died and that's how she she got her U.S. visa, so if you want to have a U.S. visa, you just say something like this. So she didn't. She went to the embassy. She didn't bring any papers, nothing. Just she showed up without anything, and the consul asked her, so, "Lady, um, why do you want to go to this to the to the U.S.?" And my mom said, "I want to take a breather. <laughs> my dad just died, and oh, a breather from." And she said, my husband just died. And I told myself, I don't want to just survive. I want to live. <laughs> he, he, he gave her a 10-year multiple entry visa. And then she lost her visa on the eighth year. So she went back to, to the embassy. And the consul, and she, she ended up... Uh, with the first the consul who gave her the visa and uh, when, she, when he saw her he said oh the breather lady <laughs> didn't ask her anymore she just gave he just gave her another 10 year multiple entry so remember breather okay um you you don't just survive you live endurance and and that's the story of Kerygma Conference. <laughs> That's the story of Kerygma Conference. We were doing it afraid, and we wanted it to endure. This year, we we celebrated the tenth year of the Kerygma Conference, and we're we're not we're not planning on stopping it. It's just getting bigger, and we're just beginning. Okay, endurance. And someone asked, someone asked, um, what's the secret to success? And, and here's what I seriously think. Um, the secret to success, yeah, it's hard work, yes, it's uh, perseverance, but, but I think the secret to any success is time. Time. Something that you do regularly, something that you do um, consistently over time. Over time. Incidentally, that's also the secret to multiplying whatever money that you have. If you want to multiply your finances, you've got to have time with you. That's why the earlier you save, you start saving and investing, the more money you will get. Like my son, he has, we got him accounts already. We opened him an account in, in, in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, 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 we already 
we already told him, Ziki, we're opening an account for you, we're opening, we're investing for you, so that when you when you reach 18 years old, you can buy your own car. <laughs> you can buy your own car. Okay. That's the secret. Okay? And success is all about execution, and success is also about endurance. You have to be there. So you don't quit. You don't quit. Are, are we okay? Yes. I want to throw in a third um, third principle and I want to call it expecting. Success principle number three. Expecting. Many of us go through life. Many of us go through work. Many of us wake up in the morning and we do. We work, we work hard. Can you look at the person next to you? The, does he or she look like he's a hard worker? Yes. Sometimes working hard is not enough. What we need to do is believe hard. We need to believe hard. Knowing that when we do this, when we do the right thing, when we pray, when we follow God, and we do whatever we know that He wants us to do, we have to believe hard that He will deliver. We have to believe hard that things will change. Many of us, we work on a problem, but at the back of our minds, we're saying, I don't know if this will work. It's okay to say that, because I say that too sometimes. I don't know if this will work, but I know that God can make this work. I know that if I trust God enough, I will see something happening. Proverbs 16 verse 3 it says, Commit your work to the Lord, then it will succeed. Many times we don't have success because we don't commit our work to the Lord. We don't bring it before God before we even start. Lord, do you want me to do this? Do you want me to start this thing? Commit. How do you commit? How do you commit to the Lord? I'll, 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 I'll try to explain it by quoting the same verse. This is a, the, the, the Living Bible uh, translation, okay? But the same verse is translated in another version of the Bible. And it says, commit your work to the Lord, then your thoughts will be established. Did you hear that? Commit your work to the Lord, and then your thoughts will be established. You need to commit first, and then God will order things. God will inspire you. God will influence you through the Holy Spirit. And then your thoughts will be established. Then you will know what to do. Have you ever been in a situation where you say, where you ever told God, I don't know what to do? When we were starting the Kirikma Conference, I don't know what to do. We didn't want to take risks. But now we've learned to take risks. Now we've learned to trust God, that, that God has better plans. How many of you were at the Kirikma Conference? Raise your hands. Did you notice the lights? Can I say something? Did you know that the person who operated the lights is a 16-year-old boy? <laughs> we, were, we were afraid to take risks. But, but at one point we said, might as well. Might as well let him. And, and you know, the lights in the morning, they were different from the afternoon. And I was wondering, I asked him, well, what, what's the difference? In the morning, it wasn't so fancy. He said, I haven't studied it yet. <laughs> but in the afternoon, you saw the rave thing, and then you saw how it worked. And this 16-year-old boy was part, ha, partnered with another teenager named Benny Sanchez, who did the graphics. The, most of the graphics were done by Adrian Seelan here. But, but, but Ben had did that. And then the mixing was done by another friend. They're all 16 year olds. These guys know that if they commit their work to the Lord, their thoughts will be established. And you know what? I'm excited about the next conference because I, I, George and I, we said, oh, that's a good idea. Why can't we just make them do all the work? <laughs> Can I ask you to stand? The universe that you're going around in adjusts to your expectation. If you expect something to fail, I'm telling you now, it will fail. 
if you expect something to succeed, it will succeed. Because it starts with expectation. When you start expecting things to go well, everything around you, everything about you changes. I was talking to a friend, we were talking about his brother, and he told me, ah, you know if my brother is down because his shoulders are, are drooped. So if you see him like this, that, that means he's in trouble, business is not good. But if you see him walking with, with shoulders straight and high, you know that everything's, you know that everything uh, is working fine. Um, here's what I want to tell you tonight. Sometimes when things are not going well, going according to your plan, Sometimes what you need to do is to remind yourself, to remind yourself to stand straight and keep your shoulders high. Because your world will adjust to how you see it. You get what I'm saying? Your world will adjust to how you see it. If you believe that God will pull you through a problem, you will succeed. If you see that God will start to heal you, just start by believing and then you start doing the right thing and God will heal you. If, if you want to, how many of you want to get out of debt? Increase your psychological wallet. Know that there's more where it's coming from. Um, just stretch it, stretch it, stretch it and know that and, and, and it's a mentality and we have to break that poverty mentality, that poverty mindset. Because God, if we commit our work to Him, God will deliver. Then our plans will succeed. Then God will support our plans. And God will enable us. God will empower us. God will anoint us. Success is about execution. It's about endurance. And it's about expectation. What do you expect? You're in debt right now. What do you expect? You wake up in the morning and say, I don't know how I'll get out of that. Instead of saying that, I encourage you to say, I know I'll get out of that, but I just don't know how. I don't know how I'll get out of that. Ibahin mo, say, I will get out of that. I just don't know the house yet. It's God, but God will tell me. God will help me. How many of you have ever been into big debt, so malaking utang, and then nabayaran nyo, and now tinatawanan nyo na lang siya? Can you raise your hands? If it happened to them, it can happen to you. You want to be successful? We're going to stop here. Execution, endurance, and expectation. Can I ask you to close your eyes? If you want to be and live a successful life. Can I just pray for you? Can I just pray for God's anointing to be in this place? Can I just pray that God will just open, will have an open heaven for you, especially this Christmas? My wife and I, we were checking our finances. And... Uh, it's, 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 it's a little challenging because we, we, we want to do more. We want to start building our house, but it's not yet aligned. But we decided that we'll step out in faith, that God will provide. That if it's a house we need, God promised that He will supply all our needs. And I, I started thinking and acting like I have money. I'm not saying that I'm pretending. I'm just... I just started acting as if the provisions were already there. And my wife, we, we, we went to the grocery um, the other night. And then, we asked the grocery boy to bring the, to the car. And um, I, I, looked at, I was looking for money to give him a tip. So, I noticed that I have I had a few hundreds, hundred bills, and then fifty. Um, 
a few, ah, parang 300 peso bills. And I, I, I got the 100 bucks. And I gave it to the man. Sabi ko, ito. And then, uh, we, we did more, many things pa. And but my wife made the comment, Randy, you know what? I just noticed something. You're generous. Um, kasi I, I had some shirts repaired, just so everyone knows. Pinalitan ko yung mga shirts ko. Uh, and I asked, okay, dami siya eh. Dami? Dami talaga. And I asked, sabi niya, sabi ko, how much? Sabi niya, sir, 1450. 1450, okay. Chip lang yung pinatang kong sastre. I didn't go to a tailor, I went to a sastre. Okay. So, I mean, 1450, I, I said, Manong, Pag maganda yung ginawa mo, gagawin kong 2,000. Sabi niya, ako na kong bahala. And, and, and my wife said, I know this you're generous. And then I told her, I know. <laughs> Medyo nag-cringe ako ng konti, but I'm practicing myself. I'm stretching myself. Because I want to believe in a God who provides for all my needs. I want to believe in the God who will give me if I start thinking, if I start stretching my belief that God will pull, pull through, that God will deliver. I want you to start thinking that tonight. That God will deliver. If you have debts, God will deliver. If you are if you're sick, God will heal you. If if, if you're in a broken relationship, God can heal that broken relationship. It all depends on your expectation in how big your image of God is. And I want you to know that we have a very big God. He's bigger than all your problems. He's bigger than the, than the sickness that, that you know that you have. It's, it's bigger than the problems that you're carrying right now. God is bigger than your sins. God is deeper, higher, wider. And, and, and that's the kind of God that we want to believe in tonight. Close your eyes. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Father, I pray for a breakthrough tonight. I pray that every person in this room will begin to see a bigger God. Father, I pray that you that, that, that you will just influence us, that you will move us, Lord, to know that every good and perfect gift comes from you. Whatever we're doing in life, whether we're working, we're doing business, we're studying, whatever it is we're doing, Lord, we can glorify you because we believe in you. We believe in the big God. We believe to your healing, to your great love. Father, we receive your love tonight. We receive your love tonight and we believe bigger things to happen in our life. In Jesus' mighty name.
witness for the appointed time. There is an appointed time for you, for whatever it is that you're praying for, a testimony to the end. It might be a, a test right now, but that test will be a testimony. And wait for it. The Lord said it will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. It will not be one second late. Let's lift our eyes up to the Lord. This is, a, this is the help coming from the God of the universe. And I want you to read the life of the Lord that it's the God of the universe that will help you pick you up where you are. No matter how you think that there's no end right now. Let's lift our eyes up. Come on, let's sing this.
your dreams. 2016 is not over yet. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to imagine yourself walking in the path. And little by little, makikita niyo yung dreams no? and, it, and as you walk, sinasalubo kayo ng dreams no? You see yourself being promoted. You see yourself being paid in your death. You see yourself having the special someone that you've been praying for for a long time. You've seen your breakthrough, your businesses going up. You see this and you're claiming this. And as you walk, you know that there is an appointed time in everything that you have written down in your hearts, in your novena to God's love. And I want you to declare this tonight, that this dreams will come to pass. This dreams has an appointed time and you're just waiting it. There is just a matter of time where it can happen because my God is greater. My God is stronger. And it will make happen in the most perfect time when you're most ready. In Jesus' name, let's sing this. Our God is great. so that people will learn people, a lot of people will learn here's my message my last message for you if you're going through trial right now Queen Esther said this that she was made for such a time as this and I want to tell you that you were made for such a time as this all your problems all your failures all your victories God will use that for such a time as this so that you will get over your problem so that you will win over your challenges if you have a problem right now just think and say god will use me and god will use everything that i've learned that i've went through so that victory will be mine in jesus name amen, amen. amen. can we give the lord one more clap
sacrificial envelopes outside so please go to that table and uh, if, you, if you think you can give the minimum of a thousand pesos we made it uh, we, we put a minimum to it so that it really will sting a bit because it's sacrificial because that's the idea because you may ask how long should I give some will say until uh, until it hurts but you know I want to push that further um, you give until it doesn't hurt anymore. Okay? So if you want, yeah, we have envelopes outside. So write your names there so we can um, we can continue with our projects. Um, one, one big project that we're working on right now is our office in Rada. We have the office, we have air conditioning, we have, car we have carpeting already, but we don't have chairs, we don't have stuff, we don't have desks, we don't have anything there. So uh, you, we go there and then you... You just you, there's little to do, but but we're, we're we're using it now for small seminars, for meetings. But we need to furnish that, and that's where the sacrificial offering will go. What you're giving now every week that goes to the um, the expenses. Okay, so there. While you're doing that, can I ask all those who are here for the first time to please stand? If you're here for the first time, please stand. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. Welcome to the feast. Welcome to the feast. If you're if you're beside someone, just point your hands towards them and just pray for them. Father, I pray for those who are here for the first time. It's no accident that they're here, but because they're here, Lord, we're blessed. We pray that you bless them, Lord, as much as they have been a blessing to us. I pray that you send them home with, with an answered prayer, send them home with your angels. Pray, Lord God, that this whole season, Lord, will be the best ever them and we pray lord that you will fix your schedule so that they can join us this whole bunch of people who are crazy for you this is our prayer in jesus name amen, amen. welcome to the feast later we'll ask you to go over to this side and uh, lala will talk to you yeah we will talk to you and we will give you our christmas Masalubong Christmas and Abu Hayan showcase for you later. Okay? Mm -hmm. December 3, isang pamilya tayo na yung Pasko. Um, we're going to Anawim. Our outreach ministry arranged a field trip to Anawim so we can spend Christmas in our with our lolos and lolas. They don't have family and we, we can be family to them for a day. Okay? Okay? So... December 3. If you want, we have a table there. Sign up, please. Face Makati Bulletin Team is looking for a graphic artist. Okay, if you know that you can draw, you can you can design, and you know that God can use your talent, please apply. Um, interest, interested artists may approach Drew and Karen at the lobby. When you go to the lobby, just shout, Karen! Yeah, lobby senior. Okay. Um, it's December and uh, we're gonna say a prayer for those who are celebrating their birthdays in, during the month of December. Can we ask you to stand? Those who are, of you who are celebrating your birthdays. Goodbye to you, my December. Alright, we'll pray for you, okay? Father, we pray for those who are celebrating. Lord, we pray for those of us who are celebrating our birthdays during the month of December. We know, Lord God, that you made us awesome, really awesome people, handsome, talented, beautiful, wonderful people. And we pray, Lord God, that you continue to bless us so that we can bless the whole world and we can share our awesomeness. Uh, Lord, just bless us for this coming year. Your best year ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Yeah, I know. Tomorrow is Reverend Randy's yeah.
capacity now, but we're counting the sending capacity. You will hear about that more in the coming year, because we really want to go out there and be a, make a difference in the lives of the people. And this is the first step. Father, I thank you for all those who are going to give tonight. I pray that you give them back everything they've given. Press down, shake it together, running over. And may they experience your generosity as they are generous. Um, this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. For the sacrificial offerings, if you're ready, you can turn it over as soon as you're ready. But deadline last day will be on December 15, okay? When we have our Christmas party, Christmas celebration here. Next week, December 8, we'll have a mass because it's Mama Mary's birthday. So invite your friends. Who's going to say mass? Father Alex. Father Alex Balatbat. So please invite your friends. We're going to put more chairs. We can fit here. Um, and then on December 15 will be our, uh, it will be the anticipated Mass for Simbang Gabi. Okay? So December 15, so we'll have two Masses. Um, who's going to celebrate? Father Steve Tainan, our spiritual director. Okay? So, there. Okay? Come early. Come early next week and then the week after that. Alright? If you're ready, we can give our offerings now. Can you give it a smile? Let's do this. <laughs> 